Watch out! Did I get you? Oh! Oh! What's up, everybody? I'm Tech. And I'm Fish. Welcome to uh, Movie Talks. We're doing a little something spooky for the, the, what? There's one, two, three, four days till Halloween, technically, when this goes up. (laughs) Oh! So we decided to do something a little spooky, except we're watching kind of more of a horror comedy, really. We're watching it in American Werewolf in London, the 1981. Fun fact about this film, you know uh, Max Landis, the guy that wrote Chronicle? You know, that cool guy? Yeah. His dad directed this. That's cool. Good yeah. to keep it in the family, dude. Keep it in, well, they're talking about a reboot for this film, where he's <laughs> and Max is wanting to do it. They should let them, and then they should be like, hey, get your dad over here. But anyways, we're just going to hop straight into it. Just have a nice old fun. This is one of my favorite movies, by the way. Just get that out of the way. Uh, Fish has never seen it, so this is going to be a a good old first time for him. It's going to be a blast. Uh, So basically, to sync this movie talks up with the movie itself, uh, it's on Hulu. Or you can buy it on DVD, rent it on Amazon, a bunch of ways to get this movie. Open up the movie. Start playing it. The Universal logo will come. It's like Universal, an MCA company or something. It's going to appear on the screen. You're going to pause this video when I say the pause and click play. As soon as that Universal MCA company goes completely to black. As soon as it fades completely to black, you'll click play on the video. But for now, press pause. Ooh la la, me and me, hey, polygram pictures. PG. This is a PG film. Family friendly. For Jim O'Rourke. Uh, so, do you know anything about this movie, by the way? Like, at all? Is this the... There's a famous werewolf movie that that has, like... This really famous, uh, like transformation. This scene. is it. Yes, this, this is. Yeah. That's this all is, I know about it is this it has is the, the good times. I know that transformation scene. Also, the soundtrack is just kick ass. An American Werewolf in London, boys and girls. Uh, so this is. I love werewolves. Uh, I don't think I've talked about it enough, but like, oh, I talk, I know I talk about it with you guys enough, but I don't know if I <laughs> talked about the audience enough. I love werewolf movies. I like actually this summer I took time uh to like go through and watch every single werewolf movie that I was interested in. There are some really shit werewolf movies that I wasn't too keen on watching. I'll probably watch them at some point just because I like werewolves. But like, um, this is one of my favorite werewolf movies. I think it's anyone's werewolf movie. This is usually like around the top comparatively with like The Howling, and uh, there's a few more. That are usually on the top of uh, people's list and stuff like that. Uh, this one's my favorite just because of like the dynamic between the characters. I like the whole supernatural aspect they added to the werewolf like ideology and stuff like that. Uh, this is also one of those odd... I-, I found that werewolf movies actually usually don't like to stick to the canon of werewolves. Where they transform every full moon. It's like every night. Yeah, it's like every night. And then, which is weird for this one because it shows the full moon twice during the transformations. So it shows it the first night as a full moon, then it shows it the second night as a full moon, which doesn't happen, technically, if you're looking at the, the, the whole lunar cycle and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, movies are very, like, uh, kind of touchy when it comes to, like, werewolf, like, transformation ideology when it comes to that stuff, which I'm fine with. I, I love the, uh, the aspect that a werewolf doesn't transform due to the full moon, but just the power of the moon in general. So, like, I just find that interesting. Then werewolves are just fucking cool. So there's that. Um, but it it's a for me this isn't a scary film. I figured this wouldn't be too. It's got some gory imagery. I'll say that much. It's it, it gets gory at times, but it's scary. Uh, it. I mean, I guess it depends on like what your what your like tension scare your to- factor your is tolerance level of scare. Yeah. Is. Uh, welcome to East Proctor, Irwood, and Lashire. Um, if you can't tell, uh, this is Scotland. <laughs> um, if you can't tell by the shepherd with all his sheep and uh, the two American boys that he's kidnapped in the back. Mm. 
Look, you and Mo went on a camping trip. What do you mean, me and Mo? Green and red. <laughs> it's your colors. I turned on the subtitles just for you. Because at the beginning, the, the good old Scottish accents aren't too easy. to, to li- Actually, it's mainly this guy. For the rest of the film, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. It's okay. Man, my like my stomach is just a grumbling today. It's having a bad time. I think the Chinese food was a bad choice. <laughs> Leftover Chinese food. <laughs> Leftover Chinese food was a bad choice. Right. So is it just these two dudes that like to travel? Yeah, they're just like best buds that like travel around the world just doing whatever they want to. It's, I mean, it's honestly, it's kind of a, it's kind of, you want to, it's an inspiration piece, really. This is, I want to grow up to be in my mid-20s, maybe early 30s, just traveling the world with my best bud, you know, going to places I never thought I'd go to, just enjoy life. It's the simple things in life. You know, now that I think about it, this brings up a very good point. What are these two, what what are their jobs that they can travel like this? I mean, I know they're hitchhiking. They obviously don't have a lot of funds. But like, how they they're get choosing the, to travel like yeah, that. How'd they, how they get to Scotland? What? Boats. <laughs> Yeah, you see all those lambs in the back of that car? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Comedy gold! <laughs> I will say, at the beginning of this movie, is very slow. <laughs> no, I'm enjoying it. It's just I haven't seen it, so I'm, no, I, I know. know you're like this is you had never seen Gremlins either, had you? yeah, I never saw Gremlins either. I feel like that's gonna be like a big thing when like it's mainly gonna be your reaction to stuff rather than like commentary. Yeah, bit. yeah. So like I'm I'm gonna fill in the gaps as best as possible, but I, but I also kind of want to stay quiet because I want you to like hear the film. <laughs> no, I get you. Which is why I wish we I had gotten a headphone amp so you could control like your volume versus my volume and stuff like that. I will say this. I there's one particular scene that I think you're really gonna love. <laughs> and I'm, I I can't wait to see your reaction to it. I I really <laughs> I love how the two main guys, uh David and I believe it's Jack. Uh dude, I was having this problem earlier. I could not remember the his best friend's name for the life of me. It was just boggling my mind. I don't know why. Got to crack open that nice cold Powerade. Those are bad if you don't exercise before drinking them. You're full of sugars and calories. <laughs> but I was about to say that I love how, like, even though, like, his best friend's wearing, like, the same, like, shade of clothing as everyone else, because they're, like, the hero characters, they look so much brighter and more colorful and cheerful than everyone else. Yeah, like everyone else is just super gloomy. And then, like these, like I love that's how what, that's, stylistically well. they just made them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these the Scottish bar. The owners are from Texas. Ever seen the Alamo starring John Wayne? I saw the uh, the reboot with Billy Bob Thornton. There's a reboot. Yeah. 
I enjoyed <laughs> it at the time. I don't think it holds up though. <laughs> ah. Have you ever seen Rosemary's Baby? Uh, no, but I, I've never even seen any trailers or anything for it. It's but an, I know the name of the film. It's an older movie. I feel like you'd like it. It's um. This is going back to talking about stuff from school, but like, I feel like you'd like it because it, it's like a it's like a movie where they don't ever show the monster. Oh, oh yeah, you were talking to me, isn't it? That yeah, it's more it's more like it's not like monster like. Ah, what what kind like werewolf vampire type monster? It's, but it's like more ghost paranormal type deal, right? More not more demonic like Just, satanist oh, well, stuff. Yeah, supernatural. Yeah. Um. Fun fact about werewolves is that uh, the original like witch hunts and stuff like that there were also the main times for werewolf hunts, and they were basically crucified the exact same way that uh, witches that were found guilty were killed and stuff like that. Was it was it sort of the same thing, but with like I know witches were more uh, pointed towards women, so were they for werewolves no, not I men? mean yeah, most of the werewolves throughout history have been male and stuff like that, but uh, like the way that they they found like witches and werewolves and stuff in towns were like they usually used the same methods and stuff like that. Yeah, the, usually the only difference was that uh, with witches, random shit would happen around the town that would be freaky, whereas with werewolves there would be killings and like cannibalism and stuff. Yeah, like uh, uh like, another fun fact, the the first werewolf or like the very first werewolf like Rara Raggy. <laughs> Damn. Tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this guy's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was, as I was saying, like, uh, the original, uh, run, bro, uh, the original werewolf, uh, the main story that, like, a lot of people know is, uh, from a German town called Bedburg. Uh, a guy named Peter Stube, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, was found guilty of being a werewolf. And, uh, it was, he was also found guilty of raping his daughter and, like, abusing his wife. But second fun fact, his, the wife and the daughter were also killed for knowing the crimes that he committed. So his daughter was executed for knowing that her dad raped her. That's weird. And that, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's the werewolf trials. <laughs> Better go. Run away, little boys, the, the from the scary barman. <laughs> you mean that one guy can play darts? Uh-huh. It's in God's hands. Roar, <gasps> roar. What's new Scooby Doo? We're, We're coming, coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. <laughs> okay, this scene is <laughs> like how they light it. <laughs> big old it's a big cr- old blimp above them, right? But you can tell that it's multiples because you can see you, you can, can see, see the, see the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're just two best buds walking through a field together in the rain. (laughs) The life. (laughs) (laughs) Like, okay. I'll I'll say this. This is a B movie. (laughs) But it's a good B movie. Like, it's a B movie on the cusp of being an A movie. You know what's another really good B movie? What? The B movie? No. (laughs) Real Steel. (sighs) You know, I, I watched that movie once. Yeah. I think it's a good... That, I think that's it's the a, end of that story. Uh-oh. I think... 
That's just a woman having a baby. <laughs> I still hear nothing. <laughs> I still I don't hear it at all. Here's my thing. Does that sound like a howl to you? It sounds, sounds more like a, like a shriek. Sounds more like just a roar. Does it? To See, me, when it does. I think roar, I think of a lion roar, deep like growl, like the. Well, that's, see, I think that I think that's its own kind of roar. I think that was like a wolf roaring and like a wolf. Uh, but see, when I think of a wolf roar, I think of a bark. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Stick to the road. Oops. Oh. Run, boys, run. You're wet, you're cold, and you're in a field. What do you do? You haven't taken like three steps. Dude, don't you know they've been dancing and singing this whole time? Which way's north? Uh, can't you see? They can't see past the edge of the rim line <laughs> back there. It's all shadowed. It's all darkness. This is annoying me. They keep doing this shot where, like, they'll run in from the right of front. Don't worry about it. Oh. This is his family picture. Look at all that haze. <laughs> Would you like a treat, puppy? Run! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> there it is! Run, David, run! I like, he didn't try to help him at all. It's just, yep. <laughs> I will say this. I don't really like the werewolf design in this film. It looks like a giant honey badger. That's my best way to describe it. <laughs> or a bear. A honey. Think of a think of the merger of a honey badger bear. And that's what the werewolf in this film looks like. What's it all mean? <laughs> you think he's okay? Well, I mean, he's not bleeding from anywhere. <laughs> well, besides the scratch on his cheek. Peekaboo, I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't she a beauty? Don't lie to me. I feel like she's gonna die. What? No. <laughs> you mean the, you mean the the hot nurse, the hot nurse with the British accent? She's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> No, nope, that is mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Damn. You know you're doing a shit job when the doctor's like, well, do you do anything here? <laughs> <laughs> he still has a pulse. He's still alive. 
What do you think, nurse? <laughs> Go about your duties. I need to fondle this <laughs> this young man. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, guy, jump yeah. over. This big black dick. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you got some original, really funny original content. Some really funny original content here. <laughs> From Tech and Rich. That's a real eye opener. <laughs> yes, his eyes are still in his body. Ooh. What's happening? God damn it. <laughs> I I will say uh I, ooh, hell no. I feel like the the more I watch this film, the more nitpicky I get about it. That's how I am with all films though that I like I like even though this is one of my favorite films, I have so many like gripes about it that I would have done differently. But it makes sense for the film. Like, I'm not a huge fan of dream sequences and stuff like that. But, of course, this film uses it. And it does it. There, Well, there's one that's like, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> but, uh, like, this film uses dream sequences. And it's like, eh, it mess with me. But it's just like, oh, <laughs> hello. I just told you. Sedate him. Nurse. Put him down. He's acting like a wild dog. <laughs> You'll pull your pelvis again and he'll be out for weeks. Get out of my damn hospital. <laughs> damn. He just woke up for the first time. Sad days, dude. Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? That's also the weird thing about werewolves is like in a lot of movies, like when they first get scratched or bit or anything like that. They go through, like, a metamorphosis. And in this case, the movie decided he's just going to be in a coma for three weeks. <laughs> Weird. I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine with it. I mean, for me, it's like the the, the, the time between the werewolf attack and the werewolf happening should be the shortest amount of time. Yeah. Well, those aren't coming around those parts. The only thing around there are sheep and cows. Who? Did we need that phone call? Ghostbusters. I'll be back. What? Actually, can I choose one of your pillows? I need some. I'm yeah, go know. for it, dude. Get some s lumbar support. Get some lumbar support. I was about to be like, that's going to be. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that. I know, right? Ooh, that that, that is that that's is some a good comfy time. stuff. Yeah, that's some comfy stuff. Tempurpedic pillows. Tempurpedic pillows that the, the, it forms to your spine. Kinda. We sedated him. We we're putting him. We're putting him down. No one's going to adopt him. That's sad. Go adopt a dog, right now. Just pause this movie time. <laughs> go go save a dog or a cat. Do they have like hamsters and guinea pigs and no? <laughs> How? This must go in some order that I just don't understand. It's like putting a circular piece into a square hole. It just doesn't work. Just fucking tie. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, this this 
this movie's more comedic to me than anything. Also, I like I don't know. It's just it go, what it's good times. Yes. Yeah, me and Jack. Where's Jack? Go figure. The dumb cop is actually the smart cop. Or are they detectives? Technically? I don't know. Life is a highway. Well, it was dark once the the edge of the light went to the shadows. I mean, (laughs) let's be honest here. Me? Dude, <laughs> that speaks to me at the deepest of levels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a deer prancing through the woods, David emerges. <laughs> I saw a flash of dick. I don't know about you. <laughs> oh. Where? Huh? That's Bambi's mom. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness gracious, this is a worse story. That's insane. <laughs> what if that was the story of Bambi? <laughs> just a man. Just a man alive. run through the woods, captures Bambi's mom, just starts tearing into her with her teeth. This is what we call character development of a side character. You know what I thought when I first saw this movie? Hmm. I thought that this little boy was going to be the first victim. I thought he was going to transform in the hospital. And like this little kid was just going to be running around the hospital at night. Like because he's such a little dweeb. Mm-hmm. And he was just going to get killed off. And then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, they wouldn't kill a child. Right? That's a minor spoiler. The kid's not the first kill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he ain't lying, but he ain't truthing. What? <laughs> Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Yeah. Weird times, dude. Weird times. Hey, you need to eat. I was just listening to my show tunes. I'd like to eat. (laughs) Now I'm going to have to spoon feed you. Force it down your throat. The only way I know how. With my fingers. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know Alex was a boy and a girl name. Really? Yeah, like I've never had any friends that were female that were named Alex. I had a couple in elementary and middle school that were named Alex. Really? Yeah. Like I had friends that were called Alexis and like Alexa and stuff like that. But I never had anyone or any girl like that went by. Look, she's actually like. I'm a nurse, and I'm going to be a little pissy brat. I won't eat this food. Does that work? I don't think so. I I mean, I feel like it would work for, like, the tiniest of children. But that would also be mean to the child. Man, the sexual tension in this room can be cut with a knife. And in this movie, too. 
it's really bad. What? <laughs> you were saying the sexual tension in the room was you oh, cut it with a knife. God damn. <laughs> and I said, yeah. Why and is he also wearing in clothes in this one? I don't like it. Make him naked again. Wait. I'm a cat. A puma. I've had some weird fucking dreams. Do I don't... Look, all I'm saying is that scratch wound only has four fingers, not five. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Doc. They're satisfied, but I'm not. Oh, jeez. Damn. <laughs> you know what we need to invest in? Those, like, Harman Karmer uh, chairs. The ones that are, like, super good for, like, your posture and your back. They're, like, uber comfy. What are they called? Harman Karman? Harman Carter? They're expensive chairs. Like, they're, like, $300 chairs. That's insane. But, like, they're, like, the chairs that most businesses, like, go with because... They're so good for your posture and your back. They're also like, they're not solid. Like they have like their tension. Like they're like made out of bungee. So it like conforms to you. And stuff like that. I've always thought about getting them just because I I need new chairs. I need one for my home office and then one for here. Or like one I can take back and forth because like, man oh man. Like being an editor hurts me. You know, I I find it so odd how, like, much of a motherly role this nurse plays. And how much of a little kid David is. Hey, oh, shut up. Be quiet. We're in the I'm movie. I'm looking at chairs now. <laughs> I'm interested in chairs because I have back problems at the young, young age of 27. <laughs> oh, wait. It's Mickey Mouse, not Kermit the Frog. Hello? I don't remember this. <laughs> oh, never mind. Now I do. So they back home now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Weird times, right? JK. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Are these like wolf Nazis? How, how is this? How does werewolf Nazis make you feel? <laughs> I that was, I remember you talking about this this summer, <laughs> and I and I, 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 I this was, that was the scene I was wanting to know <laughs> your main how you felt. Did that feel like it felt in the movie? Yeah, it did. Ooh, bad it's miss. Not over. <laughs> Sad times, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, like. I that's my least favorite of the dream sequences because to me it like I was it was so out of the blue and like didn't fit with the other dream sequences that we had nom 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 T 
tasty. And start. This is what I'm doing. No one's going to get that reference but me and you. This is what you chose your second scene. Yeah, right? no, that that's why I said when I said yeah. start. That's why. <laughs> that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know this, but in our uh, in our small little sound stage, there's yeah. actually a shirt with like a bunch of blood mm-hmm. on it and like bullet holes. Yeah, I didn't know if you knew that or not. The makeup, like the makeup's good. It's so good. It's so good. What do you mean? It's it's good. Look at that makeup. Look at how the fucking skin just flaps around the way he, like while he speaks. Who that is? I think the damn. I mean, this is the ultimate thing with werewolves. It's like they have two choices. Be a killing machine or kill themselves. Unless you have some fucking bullshit antidote like in Van Helsing. Or like there's literally a cure, drinkable cure for werewolfism or whatever it's called. Lycanthropy? Lycanthropy? Is that what it's called? I don't know. What? Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, I just had to calm down real quick. My uh, dead best friend was in the room. You know what happens now? Yeah, what, all right. what happens now? No, mama. How does he know when the next full moon? Did Jack? I don't remember. Jack actually said in two days. He just said next full moon, right? Or did I miss it? I don't know. I didn't catch it either. Yeah, no. So I was about to be like, man, David really knows the lunar cycles. (laughs) I know that's just the movie, like giving the movie a time frame and stuff like that. But still, you know. Yeah. It's whatever. Okay, this this doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I mean, I get that she's being a motherly figure and all, but like, and then he just randomly kissed her, wasn't opposed to it, and now she's literally taking care of him outside of the hospital because he's discharged. Man, I miss I I miss old uh checkout machines when they had to type in all the buttons and they made all those fun noises <laughs> I miss those man that hair man what do you mean that hair it's all the hair in this scene <laughs> all of it well I mean not the front people but the, the, the nice crowd with the rainbow shit sparkle leopard print mohawk oh hello 
You're a fucking weirdo, David. <laughs> Look at this fucking American. <laughs> Look at this American in London. An American werewolf in London. Whoa, the title makes sense now. <laughs> Man, I shouldn't have let you watch this one. We should have watched the uh the, the sequel, American Werewolf in Paris. Is that a thing? Yes, and it is the worst film. <laughs> like it's because this movie did so well. They 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 yeah, literally let's make a sequel. Yeah, they wanted to make a sequel, but everyone was just like, I don't want any part of this. So I think only one of the the original cast returned, and uh, like the werewolves were all CG. Like, it was a grand old bad time. The only thing I can compare the werewolves to is the werewolf from Harry Potter. I don't remember the werewolf from Harry Potter. I forget which. I think it was from the Prisoner of Azkaban. One of the teachers turns out to be a werewolf. And, like, it's a super long, tall, slinky, like, hairless fucking thing. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Here's why I shit. That's <laughs> I'll christen this later. Oh, that's why you're sleeping on the couch, bitch. I don't believe you. Yeah, like their relationship was very, very it's forced weird. to me. <laughs> like in all honesty, but it's like you know what? What else you gotta do? Tonight for a moon dance. But he was supposed to watch the telly. Why isn't he watching the telly? Tubbies on the telly. This isn't right at all. Look at that soap. They they meticulously placed all those bubbles so that they'd be pushed around in that specific. I don't. This is I don't. You know, they're just hugging. I don't. Dude, you better watch out. You're going to start biting his scars and that's going to be a bad time. I don't know what they were doing there, in all honesty. That was a long shower if it's nighttime now. That's all I'm saying. But they had a, a good time. Is this the first Movie Talks movie that's had sex? Maybe. We've watched I, a bunch of really bad kids movies. Oh yeah, very true. Before, <laughs> like ben 10 a and, lot of the stuff that we've watched before has just been kid stuff. So, I yeah. mean, I guess welcome welcome to a new era of movie Welcome talks. to the nice, hot, <laughs> steamy yeah. era. Welcome to the, the hot, movie hot steamy. Every, you know, we should only do it on specific holidays. So, the week of Christmas, we should watch Bad Santa. <laughs> It'd be it'll be a good time, right? No? Maybe. I'm getting into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why is your hand down your pants? Get out of here. Whoa! <laughs> I've never seen this before. What is sex? That was just a quickie. <laughs> I can I can does my armpit smell? Can I? I need to go shit. I'll be right back. Shit, where's my underwear? You know what? We're in this house alone. I'm just going to go without it. Good sound design. This is the, uh, <laughs> this is the tinkle scene. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! 
She can't hear him. <laughs> she can only hear you sounding crazy. I also don't like how fast he decomposes, but it does create some pretty cool makeup effects. So, I'll say that much. Looky there. So, Mo dies and I become a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things actually happens. <laughs> Did you get the rights to Mickey Mouse before you filmed this film? Well, if this was a Disney movie. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Disney stuff in the background, like when they're at the kids' part of the oh, yeah, true. hospital. There's like that, not Daffy I guess this Donald, is kind of at a weird point, a point where like, just like stuff placed around wasn't like hugely... Like, like you had because you nowadays you see use. something like you see a can of Pringles in the background, you're like, "Oh, they were a sponsor of this fucking movie." Yeah, and stuff like that. But more, but more than likely, they actually were a sponsor of the movie. And now, but back here, you could still just have stuff. Yeah, you could just it'd be it'd just be there. I like the whole thing of this movie is that like literally, it's like he's, de- he's decomposing so fast. No, I'm just. Trying a new diet. <laughs> like those people that uh, lived in that mountain atmosphere and it caused their skin to turn blue. Have you ever seen that? Or ever heard of that? He's into it. This is what I call low-key lighting. But they still have eye lights. Which I'm completely down with. One night stand. (laughs) Haha, bitch, you got stood up. How did they hear that? Like, they're all the way down the hall and she, like, whispered that. Voices or voice or, like, voice. That cut was seamless. <laughs> um, but did you not hear my question? Were you that into the movie? Actually, yeah. <laughs> no, what'd you say? Microphone, dude. What'd you say? Uh, I was talking about how, it, like, he was just sitting there, all green and stuff, and he was like, "Are you actually dead?" Oh. <laughs> and I was just like, "No, he's just trying a new diet." And then I brought up the uh, the blue people that lived in the mountains. That because of like the mountain air, like their diet, it caused their skin to turn blue. Have you ever actually heard of that? Have no, I'm gonna look that up now. Yeah, just search blue people. Blue, blue mountain people. Yeah, blue mountain people. Yeah, it's pretty good. They're not like blue. They honestly, they really look like that girl from Willy Wonka. So, there's that. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I know, right? It's fucking weird. I don't know what you're talking about, David. You've had enough time to fucking uh, let your drive come back. Round two or three. See, she's wanting it. It might be 2 a.m. But not too late. Not in dreamland. Did you did you think we were gonna come back here? Yeah, probably. You did actually. Did you think it was gonna be the doctor who comes back here? <laughs> My ear itches. No, oh. not the ear. The most important part of the body. I wish you would have just rammed into all those sheep. Boom. <laughs> Boom. And all the sheep. <laughs> and they just like GTA style fly off. Ragdoll physics. Dude, why didn't you put that on before you got out? 
it's not going to be much help. <laughs> Wait, is that an umbrella or just a cane? It's an umbrella. Why did you... Wait. Like... What? Is it... What? Yeah, it was an umbrella. Yeah, it was an umbrella. Why didn't you fucking use it, you piece of trash? <laughs> Small Guinness in a shot glass with a single cube of ice. Small Guinness with of ice. <laughs> no clue what you're talking about. That was another slaughtered lamb. We've never had such a smart boy in our midst before. How does it feel to have a college education? One of my kids scribbled it on the wall in crayon. Never been able to get it all. Sorry. <laughs> no, werewolves no, aren't real. Vampire. Those aren't. What the fuck's a werewolf? These town folks don't read. They don't know what a werewolf is. <laughs> Damn. Turn down. Every time I see a chessboard, it just reminds me of that short that plays before A Bug's Life. Where it's the old man playing chess against himself, but you don't know that till the end. You just think it's like his twin brother. Rurraggy. There's tension between the townsfolk. Damn. Wonder how many tourists this little town gets. <laughs> it seems like all the people are so friendly. There you go. Why can't you do that before? <laughs> I always feel like somebody's watching me. Maybe it's a fantasy. Ha ha. Do you have any information? I mean, I do have this one story, but it's kind of weird. Tell it. Okay, well, this is the story how I became the Prince of Bel-Air. Okay, here's my thing. So, they didn't kill this werewolf. The werewolf that hurt David, turning him to a werewolf, until the night that David and Jack got attacked. Why couldn't they kill him before? Because all it takes is just the bullets to kill him. Like, I get they're afraid that they're going to get attacked. But, like, if they all have guns, and they're all obviously prepared for a werewolf attack, why didn't they just take care of the problem before David and Jack get attacked? That, or, like, why, why before calling the police... Why didn't he just kill both of them to make sure, oh, hey, it, this disease yeah, won't no, spread? Yeah, no, because, I mean, if they understand how the curse works. Why not just stop it there? Yeah, why not just, because, I mean, that guy, the guy that actually shot the werewolf was totally down for murder. So, I mean, 
it, it makes sense. Then, like, cool. <laughs> Got a ravenous charm to you. <laughs> That's also a thing in werewolf movies is that the because like they have the beast within. They're like a ladies' man, but also animals hate them. That's also a common trait. I don't know. Have you watched a lot of werewolf movies? I forgot to ask that. I, I meant to I ask don't know. I, I, I've watched a bunch of horror movies. I um, and, and Twilight, right? I, well, I've seen Twilight, <laughs> but I, that, that's New not Moon? what I was talking to. New Moon's the best werewolf movie I've ever seen. <laughs> They're literally just oversized regular They're just wolves. big old wolves. They're like the wolves from Dark Souls. <laughs> that's all they are. They're just like big old dire wolves. They're big old dire wolves. They're the wolves from Game of Thrones. That's exactly who they hired. I also like this. He gets locked out. Oh. I had a cat that looked like that. Name was Tigger. I did too. We named After him Garfield. Pooh Bear. And then he died. End of that story. This window was so precariously unlocked. That's just unsafe. <laughs> He's just practicing. No worries. Just trying to make sure. Am I a werewolf or Am not? Am I a werewolf or not? Let me just growl and roar at the fucking mirror and check my teeth. Because I'm sure that'll tell me. Nope, not a werewolf. Guess I'll watch some TV. What the fuck? Is that a TV made by Apple? Yeah! Boo! Go back to the other one. Missed the board. Damn. Did you know you're actually not supposed to aim for the bullseye in darts? Really? Yeah, it's actually not the most amount of points you can get. Hmm. Crazy stuff. So it can be so cheesy at times. I just love it. I like how that ad was the one that kept him interested. A O A O. Bad moon arising. See trouble on the way. God. I this I love the soundtrack for this film. You ready for a kick ass montage of boredom? Because yeah. I am. There's a bat moon on the rise. I like how he had to check the fridge just to make sure he wasn't hungry. I like how many Mickey Mouses they were. Too many mouses on the television. I know. <laughs> but like he got up and there was one on that shelf and then the shot went down and there was still Mickey Mouse on the front. Don't worry about it. If I leave, I can't get back in. Except for that precariously unlocked window. What to do? I'll just leave the door open. That's the wrong monster, David. <laughs> oh, Donald see, Duck. See, there's a Mickey, a Donald, and a Minnie, and another Mickey. Well, see, that Mickey's like a, a statue rather than like a toy. And all Either I way. I, 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 in all honesty, I thought that Mickey on the top shelf was actually a lamp. And then I noticed the shelf above it. <laughs> that, you know, the nurse is fairly short. How she reached the top shelf of her bookshelf? Probably a chair. Oh. I'm going to have to sedate you, kid. Stop back talking me. <laughs> <coughs> Stop being a little bitch. It's <laughs> so cute. It 
turns into a quarter. Nope. I lied. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, David. Show me more. Door <laughs> he left the door open. I know. I said that. <laughs> I know, but I mean, even <laughs> now when now it cut, catching no, up. No, it cut like it cut back, and this door was still open. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know he was like. Yeah, now you now you caught up with what's going on. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Spoopy. Man, he's got some manly hands. <laughs> no, I want to see this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Back in like back in these days when you couldn't just CGI that shit. Well, I mean, I think it looks better than what they would do with CGI. With oh CGI, no, well, no, that's what I'm saying. I it makes it it makes it a lot more creepy. Yeah. Also, the fact that it's set to such a calm song. This hot damn! <laughs> Look into the camera and. And pass out. <laughs> I love how painful it feels. Like, it feels like this is not... This isn't a fun time for him. Yeah. This just hurts. Would you believe me if I said that we now only have 30 minutes left of this film? <laughs> really? In the, in, huh. Yeah, the werewolf doesn't appear until an hour in. To the last 30 minutes of the movie. <laughs> well, okay. I take that back. It's, yeah, basically 30 minutes. Uh, credits are like five minutes. So, yeah. I mean, literally the werewolf happens like the the like middle of the second act in all honesty I, like for me the climax is actually the werewolf happening yeah and then from then on it's just a nice old ride but what do you think about the transformation i mean that's the one scene from this i've seen before oh okay. or, or at least well i say I've seen it's mainly that shot of the face. Oh yeah, can going out. Yeah. Whoa. Um, nom, 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 nom. It's time for Kwanzaa. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> Why don't you ask her? Is that dick I smell on your breath? What have you been doing? <laughs> what about Raggy? It's time for a bad time. <laughs> and the massacre begins. Who is David Dobrik and why do I know that name? Do what? Who is David Dobrik? That that name just popped in my head and I don't know who that is. David Dobrik? Yeah. Who is David Dobrik? He's a YouTuber. Let me see his face. The vlogger. Oh, 
Uh oh. Can I see his face? Yeah, give me just, oh, okay. just a sec. Sorry. Just a sec. Okay, don't worry. I'll watch the movie. <laughs> okay, yeah. My girlfriend watches him. Okay. <laughs> That's why I know that name. I think it's the village water supply driving them all mad. Doctor, you're sounding crazy. Bunch of home, ho- I, I almost said a bunch of homos, How? but I meant to say a bunch of hobos. <laughs> Dude, that's bad times. I mean, what else were you expecting? This is a werewolf within a city. There's going to be homeless people. It's like the main thing. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up trivia for this film. Oh, they're just college students. Okay, yeah, because he he's wearing an NYU shirt or wore an NYU shirt until he ripped it off and turned into a wolf. <laughs> John Landis had to avoid filming any full frontal nudity of David during the transformation scenes and dream sequences after the actor informed him <laughs> that he was not circumcised, even <laughs> though his role of David was written as being Jewish. Oh. That's the whole reason we don't see Dick in this movie, folks. He wasn't circumcised. And he's... Because he's supposed to be Jewish. Wow, that's funny. The final look of the werewolf was based on the makeup artist, uh, White German Shepherd. That's interesting, because this werewolf looks nothing like a German Shepherd. Right, 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 left, right. What? <laughs> I don't know. Where'd that come from? There was one that I saw that was talking about the, uh, oh, Jesus, there's so much trivia. Hello. Is there a wolf in here? Oh, did you know, David, the only thing he started in before this was a Dr. Pepper commercial? I didn't know that. I learned that out when looking up facts so about this So is this an American movie, American like made movie or is this a British made movie? This is American. Okay. I didn't know cuz also every single song in this film has the word moon in their title. So <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, it's good times. Uh let's see. I bet you they wouldn't have done this shot if there weren't two escalators right there. <laughs> yeah, uh <laughs> Oh, so the Muppet show, that episode that was showing was never aired in the U.S. So every time, so oh, I didn't even notice this. That's but cool. Yeah, so like when Americans saw this episode, they thought it was just a fake Muppet episode that they actually shot and put inside the film. This is always pretty funny. A nonstop orgy. Uh, But they, <laughs> okay, look at the posters as he's running down this hallway and tell me if you notice anything. Okay, subs, if... Okay, subs. It's just the same hallway. <laughs> oh. Every time he turns a corner, it's just down the same hallway. <laughs> Wait. This is a different hallway now. Okay. Just so you no. Know. Dude should be dead right there. 
because of this, John Landis agreed. Michael Jackson asked John Landis to direct Thriller, the music video. Oh, wow. Oh. Holy shit, this was filmed in sequence. Really? Yeah. Spoopy. That's a cool transition, though. Oh, you know it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Okay, so this was originally a John Landis and Rick Baker movie until Rick Baker was tired of waiting for Landis to get the funds for the film. So he went and made the other great werewolf movie, The Howling, and they had a big, like, falling out. Hi, puppy. Bunch of beautiful wolves. The scene with David in the cage with the real wolves was filmed in one take, as they had no desire to get back into the cage with the animals. Hey, that was a dick. Put that back. Uncircumcised, I can't see it. (laughs) God, I love it. Where is that one trivia fact I saw? I don't know. I'm not looking at your phone. I no, I know. I know. I, I'm just speaking out. I know. You're just speaking out loud. One of my favorite things that I've heard our friend Eli say is one day we were just hanging out and he, you know how he just says a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah. No. And he's just sitting there talking one day and he goes, guys, I'm not crazy. I just have shit to say. (laughs) (laughs) The werewolf howl used in the film was a combination of a wolf and an elephant. That's weird. I mean, Chewbacca is made of like seven different animals. Yours is like ten times better. I just gargled my spit. <laughs> is it it? Get it? Because the bol- bol- balloons. Do you like the circus, Georgie? <laughs> that was a terrible impression. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh, so da- David was like the spokesperson of the doc. He he was Dr. Pepper's star in all of their commercials. And was let go because of his nude seats in this film. Huh? David, the Dr. Peppers, he was his, the main star in all the Dr. Pepper commercials. But after this movie release, they let him go because of his nude scenes. Oh, wow. It's going to affect our brand. People are going to think a naked man drinks our drinks. A naked American man stole my balloons. <laughs> this is also the only John Landis movie to win an Academy Award. As of 2014. So, if John Landis has done anything in the past three years. <coughs> the nightmare with the Nazi werewolves confused audiences and led some to walk out. <laughs> that makes sense, okay? The, the Nazi werewolf scene makes zero sense to me in this movie. Fucking Americans. <laughs> <laughs> what type of fucking dress code do they have over in the Americas? Because I wouldn't wear nothing like that. I love how we give all the British people southern accents <laughs> <laughs> when they talk shit about the Americans. <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? <laughs> every Look, place, Casablanca. Every place has a south. Look at the Casablanca poster. Did you notice that? Oh, you can't see it. No, no I, I saw it. I, I saw it. There's a Mickey Mouse poster. Oh. <laughs> Let's see here. 
Oh, here it is. Even though David and Jack were supposed to be NYU students in real life, David was 30, and Griffin was almost 26. Wait, that doesn't make sense. People still attend colleges at the same time. Hmm. There's a lot of interesting facts I didn't know. In 2016, it was revealed that screenwriter Max Landis, son of John Landis, will be writing and directing the remake of this film. Sad days. I mean, he's trying to eat me right now, but... <laughs> you got some nice thick thighs here. That'd be nice to grill up. <laughs> I f- here, yeah, that's the other thing. Wait, <laughs> no, because that's the thing about about this movie, and that's like one of the key reasons why he doesn't want to kill himself. Is that being a werewolf makes him euphoric. It makes him happy. It like makes him feel good. Makes him feel real good. Makes him feel like a man. Oh, that's also a thing. He doesn't also know he's a werewolf. Well, he knows he's a werewolf, but he doesn't remember being a werewolf. Yeah. rut row raggy he's realized what he's done and now the euphoria is gone <laughs> look at his light jog of trying to run away well I mean do you see those shoes he doesn't want to splash water too much on him that's a lie full moon's only one night not two I mean, even if, like, someone came up to a police officer and said that. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, shit, cunt, shit. He couldn't think of a fourth swear word. Sad days. Just punch him. Sad days. No one believes me. I'm such a troubled and angsty teen. Kill yourself. No, I'm serious. Like, this is what your friend (laughs) was telling you to do. If you're that worried about it, then kill yourself. Such a... No, it's like it's a mean thing to say. Yeah, it's a, but, se- like, it's a but I mean, it makes sense for a werewolf. Yeah, no, I'm saying like, like there's no, there's no. He doesn't need to go to the oh. police. Oh, what'd you do? I I pulled the cord. Oh, did I did I goof it? I uh, I just couldn't hear anymore. <laughs> now I can't hear crap. I got you. Can you not hear now? Because I can hear now. I cannot. I can't. I can. It's back. But now mine's not back. Wait, really? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I can hear. Mm, kinda. You did it. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. Only the movie.
Wow. Uh, Sad to him. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Coca Cola. Fujifilm. Sanyol. JVC. JVC. Skull. Telephone. Look, man. All that product placement. They used all of those cameras on set. They used Sanyo branded televisions for all their monitors. Uh, Dude, that's so crazy to me that this whole film was shot in sequence. Really? They got killed by werewolf Nazis. What do you mean? This happened weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, but. Kind of. In a way. How sad. See, what they should have done is, like, they should have cut the movie off right there. She should have had a sequel called American Werewolf in America. <laughs> it's him killing his family. Oh, whoa, David, David, calm down, oh, David. Jesus. Dude, look, I get it, but that's not. Have you seen 13 Reasons Why? It's not the fastest way. That's so that's so dark to say. <laughs> oh hi Jack. Want to see a movie? It's a good one. It's a nonstop <laughs> orgy called See You Next Wednesday. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you take dollars? That uh, the porno in the background is the first thing they filmed for this film. <laughs> I thought they shot it in sequence. Well, yeah, they did, but they had to shoot the film to show in oh, the God. theater first. Yeah, Jack's a bad <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> Is this the first time we've shown a film with nudity? <laughs> what can I say, Jack? <laughs> I just love that there's just a fucking like sex scene happening in the background and you just hear the breathing <laughs> yeah it is pretty fucking crazy <laughs> <laughs> 
I like how one eye is looking up and the other eye is looking down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Such a smart worded phrase. What if instead of ghosts, they were just zombies? <laughs> How much of a twist would this be? Bang. <laughs> I like that subtitle. <laughs> A woman moaning in the background. <laughs> They're still so happy in death. So dark. Just watch the movie. <laughs> Yo, the, 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 the Nazi. Yeah, the, the Nazi werewolves. werewolves that, the dreams that. of him prancing through the forest, killing deer. All his ghosts of his here. victims Silver coming bullets back. Far. So, bro, that's crazy talk. <laughs> uh And this is the musical number of the film. Uh, they call it Moon. Moon. Such a happy time. Uh-oh. David, you should have picked a movie that had a shorter run time. David's just getting frisky in the back. <laughs> he's, oh god he's having such a good time in this porn oh, theater <laughs> I'm enjoying myself get out of here why else would you come to a porn theater if you couldn't just relax and have a good time ain't that a gross idea fingernails coming up from under your fingernails uh oh Whoa! <laughs> what type of theater is this? <laughs> I just love the ideas that back in the day there were actual like porn theaters. I mean, they still are. Are they? Yeah, that, that, that's still a thing. It's Is... more. It's mainly like in like sex shops. They'll have like. Oh, okay. I was thinking little... like more like just a full blown uh, theater like this. I think in like L.A. and like New York, they have like really run down theaters that are that still do this kind of shit. Peekaboo. So Not that's th based off a of German Shepherd, huh? <laughs> There's a monster. Everyone cried, r crowd right in front of the fucking door. They want to know what's going on. They're they're people. They're interested in the world. Uh. 
Everyone run away! How many policemen does it take to keep a door closed? Find out at the bottom of this cereal box. Werewolf flakes. Some kind of animal, sir. <laughs> oh, well, there's the police. Jesus! <laughs> ah! Terror in the streets! There's a werewolf! <laughs> there's a... F- <laughs> Why'd you swerve? <laughs> oh my god. It's that so... was a weird series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Did you know? This is this is originally a final destination. <laughs> Chaos in the streets. The people are running rampant. <laughs> it's just David. I love the name Piccadilly. Where'd the werewolf go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> so that's an elephant and a wolf. Weird. So yeah, weird. I, I'm trying to discern the two, the two sounds they used. But one of the like, is that a DeLorean police car? <laughs> Gotta go back. We gotta go back. Stop this werewolf attack from ever happening. That's a really good Doc Brown impression right there. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, gr- great Scott. Great Scott Morty. Marty. We have to go back to the future. Let's watch Back to the Future. Back to the Future is a good, good series. I love it. Let's watch the third one and only the third one. <laughs> The third one's goofy, but I like it. Uh, yeah, no. Also, how the hell did they get... That was fast. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they got the best taxi service money can buy. Black cab. I can hear a little elephant in that. I can hear a little wolf in that. <laughs> it's when you combine the two when it really doesn't make much sense. Uh oh. Just shoot the wolf downrange. Like, dude, what do you mean? Didn't you made this guess at the beginning of the film? She's gonna die. <laughs> she has to. The hot love interest of a werewolf always has to die. Always. It's the rule of werewolf movies. That was that had to have been one big ass German shepherd. <laughs> God, it has such a little, like fat body. I know, right? <laughs> it's so fat and stumpy. <laughs> like the face and stuff yeah, looks no, good. It's it just like good. when you look at it from a wide perspective. Yeah, it's, it's just a fat boy. Oh. In love. Nope. Aha, JK. She doesn't die. <laughs> Luckily, uh, David, dude, tri- ever heard of uh, trimming? Uh, manscaping? Uh, you ever heard of uh, trimming that foreskin down so you can, <laughs> so you can <laughs> play a Jewish, uh, <laughs> a Jewish character? Ever thought about that one, huh? <laughs> that was a dumb joke. <laughs> oh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> done and done. Uh oh. Uh oh. Parasite. The anime. What'd you think? How do you feel? I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Good werewolf movie. I I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Kermit and Miss Piggy himself themselves. <laughs> You mean himself and herself? Stop, uh... Mark Fisher. Oh. <laughs> Creepy little girls. <laughs> Naughty Nina. <laughs> oh, man. Baba bang dang dang a ding a dong ding through the moon. 
<laughs> See you next Wednesday. It was literally a full blown porno that they shot for the film. It has its own cast and everything. <laughs> we, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh man, appeared before me. So, what was your favorite thing about the film? I don't know. I like it's like it didn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is what I liked about it. Which I feel like a lot of horror movies, especially like monster movies, you have to do because like yeah, because I mean they're, they're cheesy too... subjects. It's there. It's a cheesy thing to do, and like like if, I, you, if you go too deep into it, you're gonna it's you gonna take be yourself a bad too time. seriously. It's just not gonna come out as well. Yeah. So, um, uh, what was your least favorite part? <laughs> Honestly, not the Nazi werewolves. I love that. <laughs> okay. Oh, what was it then? My worst. I guess there at the end where, it, like, when he was contemplating, like, trying to go to the cops. Yeah. Instead of killing himself. I guess that'd be my main thing. I'd have See, to, I like, thought you were going to say how rushed it seemed that the development of the ro- romance between David and the nurse was. Because that's what got the biggest reaction out of you that was, like, more like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That's where that's where I thought you were going. Mine's still the Nazi werewolves. I, like, I, I, think, I think it's a really funny, and again, it no, doesn't it's a take funny, it. it's a funny, clever thing, but it's like, that's it why doesn't. I, like it. I don't think. It, it just doesn't fit. <laughs> like, going going from a film aspect, no, no, I don't, I think that that's the thing that <laughs> doesn't fit, that stands out the like most. Like, in all honesty, that scene could have been replaced with David frolicking the woods more, or, it, like, yeah. no, or nothing, and it would have been perfectly fine. Or, like, fine. David, uh, David attacking his family yeah. as a werewolf, or a werewolf just attacking his family. It didn't have to be Nazi werewolves. Yeah. Uh, the fact that it's just a bunch of run-and-gun werewolves in Nazi uniform with Uzis just shooting down his family was just like, what? <laughs> well, I mean... Besides that, uh, I can throw up Film Limited wishes to extend a heartfelt congratulations to Lady Diana and the Royal Family has the Prince Wales occasion of the marriage. Happy marriage. Well, <laughs> uh, all characters in this film are fictitious. They aren't real. Werewolves aren't real, right? 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 Uh, well, boys, girls, men, women, uh, all the in-betweens. We made it to the end of this We made it to the end of the lovely American werewolf in London. I hope you enjoyed the spookified Halloween edition. Yeah, this new, uh, spooktacular of Tech and Fish. spooktacular Tech and Fish movie talks before Halloween. Uh, but you know, make sure you join us back next time. We're gonna be watching, uh, uh, cartoon. We're probably going to be watching some other kind of movie. We'll see you guys later. Ah!